Hey there guys, Aaron Walwyn here, or Action Man Media, or Action Man 995, here with the final update for Hograft. Um, as many of you know, the project um, has been abandoned for several years, and um, one of the things that a lot of people have been asking is about when is it out, when's the last one out, or can we get the save file? So, as of yesterday, the work in progress save file for version 3 is out, it's available to download via the Hograft website. Um, since the last video, to be honest, it's gone back a bit because a part of the file got corrupted, so some of the stuff which I did in the last couple of videos did get overwritten with some of the older stuff. But um, if you go over to the website, uh, www.hograft.net, uh, scroll down to download, you can download the version 3 in the state it was, pretty much when I left it off. Um, for this final video, we're just going to do a quick world tour, look through some of the stuff that was done, um, wasn't quite finished, but stuff that was in the version 3. So, I'm just going to, it's been a while since I've played this, <laughs> um, I have literally stopped playing, I literally stopped playing Hardcraft when I stopped, I stopped playing Minecraft when I stopped playing Hardcraft. So we've got our text pack, text pack is now updated to work with the latest version of um, Minecraft, so it's a resource pack now. Um, it seems to be working fine. So this is, um, I just re-downloaded this, this is the version that is on the website. And so, we'll go through maybe what some of the new stuff that was added to version 3 that never saw the light of day. For example, this new start world. Um, there's also, I believe a welcome book by me. Um, I can't remember what's in it. Welcome to Hardcraft. If this is your first time playing, I suggest you check out the tutorial room ahead of you. Some good advice, old me. Who's in this one? Get to Hogwarts. Oh, that was the first mission. I remember that. Oh, got my ticket. Let's go. So yeah, this was the what was supposed to be the new spawn. Um, the outside of it wasn't finished, but this is supposed to be King's Cross Station. I don't think there's a sign or anything. No, not yet. Um, queue here. So this was like the tutorial room that I put together. Well, this is a checkpoint. Right click to set spawn. Obviously there's nothing there. This is an end chest. Put the items in it you want to store. The chest will contain missions for you. Missions are given around, given using books around the map. Five places using that to the flu network. Hogwarts version 3. Finally out. Make sure that you're using Hogwarts texture pack, set your difficulty to normal for the map. I mean, yeah, there's supposed going to be enemies and things spawning in this one. So it was normal instead of um, peaceful like the others. Map made by Action Man 5. Um, mod made by these are the two guys who were originally planning, I was working with to make the mod. I probably should have deleted that. No. Oh, meh. <laughs> you should do 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 youtube.com slash Action Man Media. Cue here. I think there was at one point some, uh, I can't remember what they called, the villagers, the villagers, that's what I meant, the villagers were, some of them were in there originally, oh, throw controls, is there anything else back there, I can't remember, we're just going to break stuff because this isn't the save I have, this is just a wide downloaded, platform 3 to 10, so I wonder which one we're going to go look for, so yeah this was the design for the new Kingscar station, a lot larger, it's supposed to be a lot, of, so a lot of more of the muggly area and stuff of it. So I was thinking I'm planning on putting some actual like building some trains out of blocks and stuff to fill up these stations and stuff like that, and have like muggle NPCs sort of walking around this area. Um, there's also a lot of shops and stuff I was planning on putting. I think was that here I put the shops? I can't remember. It was just Cito. It's just Cito. I think there's a shop at the end. Yeah, there's a shop space at the end, although I never actually filled it. And then under here, so we got platform 9. And I think down here is platform 10. Platform 10, and then where this hole is here isn't platform 9 3 quarters. Uh, the plan was with the mod, and it was actually in the, like, one of the first snapshots of the mod, was there was two sort of sand, blocks with a sandstone texture, but they were basically air, so you could just walk straight through them. 
and that is this is platform nine three quarters. Um, I think I got rid of this, but it reverted back. So some of you may remember there was a system which I was working on to begin with, like a rail system, which would get you around everywhere, which I then had to abandon because um, the way the trunks work, it wouldn't really work properly. I think I got rid of it. I think I got rid of these, but it reverted, and so they're back. Um, then what we have is the rail line. So I'm going to find myself a minecart. Um, let's go very slowly. Come on, get to the first red thing. I can't remember what it's called. Is it an activate? No, it's not an activator. Just a boost rail, I call it. So yeah, that's what changed that over at the start. Much larger building f for King's Cross. Yeah, it goes the right way. I need to get. I'm supposed to get rid of all that railing because that doesn't do anything anymore. Now, before we get over to Hogwarts, we'll go have a look at Hogsmeade and show you what happened there. That's where the, probably the biggest corruption happened to the map. Um, not yeah, Hogsmeade. So, as you some of you remember, I was work. I was at the time of the last update. I was working on putting together a new Hogsmeade area. Um, I completely got rid of the old one. Um, there's something on fire there for some reason. Yeah, I, I completely got rid of the old one because it did look atrocious. It was just a lot of same buildings just repeated, and it just looked bad. Um, so yeah, I completely destroyed it, and was in the middle of working on a completely new one designed off um, a map that I found of uh, the way that um, Hog Hogsmeade had been described. Someone had put together a map of what it should look like, and I was working off that map to build Hogsmeade. Um, that was going quite well. Um, the bones are looking quite good. Unfortunately, however, as you can see, well, as you'll notice when we get to this abrupt ending... Oh, I'll get out of this again. And we're back. So after destroying quite a lot of <laughs> area I'm trying to escape from that, I have no idea why that wasn't working and wouldn't let us out and like I said I haven't played Minecraft in a while so I don't think there's any bugs going on but what I was in the middle of saying was as you can see um, there's quite a difference This, so this truck used to come along here and that was the new train station was over there um, since then this random area here has magically reappeared, I deleted all of this area um, and yeah, it re it's come back, and we sort of don't have um, what was there in the last version of Hogcraft. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Um, I I put the save file in my Dropbox and sort of left it there for a while, and I came back, and this is what was there. Um, I also deleted all of this. This is all had all been deleted, and yet we have. All this stuff back. There goes my phone in the background, but you can't hear it. Um, yep, this had all been deleted, all this area, and um, yet it has reappeared. Um, this here is the new Hogsmeade I've been working on. As you can see, it's cut straight through a building. Um, I'm presuming this is a chunk border. Um, but yeah, all these chunks just sort of got overwritten. Um, not sure why. Um, I had some nice buildings over there as well. There's a very pretty wooden pub. What's the name of the pub? Three broomsticks. I think it's the three broomsticks. I built just like it think it was over here, and then that got overwritten. Um, but yeah, some of the buildings survived. This end bit of Hogsmeade sort of survived. Um, so you got some of the buildings still over here. Um, then, yeah, none of them have filled out, they're all, so this was one, one of the things I was working on at the time that I left Hogcraft. Um, I was working on building Hogsmeade up properly. Um, I just sort of planned out all the buildings and stuff. Um, I, can't remember when, I can't remember what these buildings are, I think some of them, them signposted. Yeah, Scriven Shafts, I think that was like a parchment store and stuff, I think. This was 
cloud drags. Oh yeah, so this is a clothing shop. I think in all these frames we had all the different uniforms. Um, and like these are two changing rooms I think they're supposed to be. <laughs> and this is the bit where you get your tailoring done. Uh, what else have we got around here? Um, a nondescript building. I think that's going to be a house or something. I think this is where... Uh, yeah, Zonko's. The old prank store was. Um, yep, I think it's empty though. Um, it says in... Yeah, you get you got into it through the second floor. I can't remember where the description came from. I think it was in the books. If I remember correctly. I'm not sure what that was. Um, what else did what else survived? I saw we had the post office as well, which I had done. That might have been something that's got destroyed. Um, I think yeah, I think it was over that way, the post office. It may have been axed. Um, what else do we have over here? Uh, these buildings got sign. Ooh, we got one more with the signpost over here. This is Madame Pudfoot's. What was this supposed to be? I have no idea, but it had a nice carpet. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, got another sign over here. Let's see what we had. Dervish and Bangs. Again, I can't remember what that was. <coughs> I also had re rebuilt the. What's it called? The Shrieking Shack. Um, that had been moved, I think, to over here. And then we put together a new railway station and stuff. But uh, as you can see, that's all been overwritten by these chunks, errors. So yeah, that's what had happened at Hogsmeade. Um, unfortunately, it's been destroyed now. Um, another corruption similar has happened over at the Ministry of Magic. Um, nothing's been lost, but some well, some stuff has been lost, but none of the actual areas of the Ministry. It was like some other like sort of decorative part got destroyed, and we'll go have a look at that in just a sec. First, we're going to go and have a look at Hogcraft. Hogwarts, sorry. Uh, you can tell it's been a while. And let's see what's changed. Oh, I'm flying really fast. What do I do? How do I do that? Oh, you can fly fast. Alright. Let's go look at the old entrance. It's been a while since I walked through these doors. I think this is new. I don't remember this being in the old version. Um, but yeah, we have some carpet <laughs> now. Um, I think I was planning on filling that all the way up to here or something. Just going to make a nice entrance. I think in one of the games, I think it's the fifth game, that was the one which I played the most and got given the most inspiration for this. Um, I, yeah, I think I saw in that that they had a carpet on the inside, so I was planning on copying that. I was also planning on changing these um, desks out because it's just a wooden half pint, half slab and they're replacing it like this sort of style and having these all the way along at the time um, what's down here? trophy room did I change anything in here? I think I changed something in here no, must be the same there's still diamonds in there. No, oh, there's no more diamonds. I deleted them all from the world. Um, I think I moved. The, I think the entrance to the kitchen used to be down there, and I think I moved that um, to down. Is it down here? I can't remember if this was in. The latest version. I don't know if this was in version 2. I think it may have been. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got these paintings changed. But yeah, the entrance of the kitchen is down here behind that portrait. This is the kitchens. So, yeah, the entrance used to be over there. Um, then it got moved to here. And then we have down here the Hufflepuff common room. So it said, you might belong in Hufflepuff where... 
Um, what is it? I don't... I think it's... They are just as loyal? Yes. And that opens up the entrance to H Hufflepuff Common Room. And down here we go. So yeah, I think... Yeah, I think it was in version 3. I don't think that was in there, but I started redoing all the common room areas. Um, because they're being kind of small and... Even though like the year sizes are quite small, um, they weren't really large enough. So we had like a actual sort of lounge area. I think the rest is just sort of all just bedrooms and stuff stacked up. Um, yeah, girls second year. Yeah, I think all the girls ones were down here and the boys ones were upstairs. I don't think there was anything else. Apart from the, I think there was a balcony overlooking um, that lounge bit, I think. Was there? No. Okay, that's where the Hufflepuff common room was. I don't think it was based on anything. I don't think it ever mentions where the Hufflepuff common room is in the books. Um, so I think I sort of went off a random thing. Oh yeah, this room. Um, I can't remember what was on the other side of that. I think that's why I changed the Chamber of Secrets to come out. I think. Shall I go have a look? We'll go for a second. Yeah, I think this was going to be an area where I had lots of secret rooms and stuff. Um, there was going to be lots of paintings. I think they all got deleted due to an entity problem. But this room was basically full of um, paintings at one point. We'll go find out what that leads back to in a bit. I think it's the Chamber of Secrets. I think I changed the entrance to it. Um, I didn't really change much to dungeons, so I'm not going to go through the classrooms. I'm just going to get lost in here like I always do. Um, I, think, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> um, no. There is a Slytherin. Um, Slytherin common room. Um, I don't know if this was in the latest version. I believe it was in version 2. Have all the dormitories and stuff um, downstairs. And we have the area by the lake here. Um, it's not actually under the lake. That's just basically water behind the glass. As you can see, it's only one thick. <laughs> um, there's actual squid in there. Um, yeah, that was the Slytherin common room. Um, let's see if I can find my way into the other towers. Is it, I think it's this way. Nope. Um, that's the way back. <laughs> it's not that way. Um, maybe this? Nope. Is that dead end? Nope. This way, there we go. So wait out of the dungeons. Into the other tower. Oh, yep, yeah, so this was the where the transfiguration courtyard is. Over here. This one of the cool bits from the book, I think from the films and stuff, where you get this view of the tower over this bit. That's cool. Um, yeah, I think I so I think we'll go to Moaning, Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. I think I updated that for version three. Oh, that's stuck up. No, it's not stuck open. Press the button. And it opens that. Um, yeah, I think I made it easy to get out. One of the main things I always get people asking about is how do you get out of Moaning Myrtle's bathroom? And I'll be it was a bit confusing. Um, so I think I changed that. It still opens. So the way to get out is this one, which isn't. Um, is it this one? No, it's just a chest. How do you get out of here? I've forgotten how I made it get out. <laughs> which ain't great. Um, creeper skull. Is the sword still on top? Yeah. Oh, it hasn't got its name. It used to be the sword of Gryffindor. Used to be up there. Um, you can actually get up there by jumping on the 
fences. Here's a way to get out. Um, right, how do you get out of here? That is a good question. <laughs> because I have completely forgotten. I used to think it was this, or was that just... Hmm. How do I get out of here? I should know what I did. I moved... Wasn't there... That's the old one. Where it is? So is it over there? So it is in that corner. I don't know how to get out of it though. There must be a lever somewhere. <laughs> Gee, I thought I'd make this easier. Apparently I made it a lot harder to get out. So it is that bit. But I don't know where the button is. Oh, the button's there. Wow, that is hard. Um. Yeah, I should have probably changed that. See, it's different. In the films, you sort of fly out, and in the books, you fly out with the forks carrying you, but that wasn't really possible, so I had to make a tunnel. And I wanted to do it in a way that didn't sort of stick out like a sore thumb from the room, but I guess it was made a bit too hard, apparently. We even know, if someone takes over version 3, they can find a new way to do it, or maybe fly out. Maybe I'm finding a way to make us fly out. But yeah, I believe this comes out in that room we were at. Yep. That's. Yep, there we go. That's where that comes out. Right, let's head over and look at some of the big new stuff that was in version 3 that never unfortunately got to see the light of day until now. Um... So we'll start with this bad boy because this was probably one of my favourite things about version 3. Now this unfortunately did get reverted again a bit. Um, the entrance which was over here just got reverted back. So there's no actual entrance to it. There used to be the entrance was through here and there was like changing rooms to the right and stuff. And yeah. This is what this used to be the entrance. Into the Quidditch pitch. And I was slightly missed. <laughs> the middle. Um, I'll say this is making me want to play it again. <laughs> Yeah, this was the entrance, and this was the new Quidditch pitch. Um, it was a lot, much larger. To put in like perspective, like the old Quidditch pitch was like less than half the length of this, and it was way too small, and it just didn't look good. And then we replaced it with these Goliath. So we have all these towers. I think in the last version I decorated these a bit, um, but that got reverted as well. I just put them using wool and just like swapped out some of the fences to give them the colours of the houses and done a slight pattern on them which looked okay um, this had such a massive optimization problem though because fences render very very poorly in Minecraft um, they just they just are very poorly optimised they just sort of kill the game um, so yeah like you coming over here you just sort of kill my computer um, I think it's working better now, as you can see I'm recording and it seems to be fine. Um, yeah, the frame rate's sticking at 30, so yeah, it seems to be all good. Um, I was planning on at one point having, well, hoping with the mod to have actual Quidditch and you could actually play Quidditch games, but alas, that never came to fruition. I'm kind of disappointed that some of this stuff reverted. Um, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I took so long to release this. I, every time I was like, oh, I'm going to release it, I'd go on it, look at it, and be like, oh, but it's lost some of the stuff that I put in there. And I'd spend a while trying to see if there was a way I could get it back, and then I wouldn't find a way to get it back, and it sort of be like, meh. Well, I don't really want to do that anymore. Um, so yeah, that's the entrance of that. And over here we have... So yeah, uh, I'm going to head back this way first. So we had um, what is the start of like the Hogwarts Ruins. Yeah, keeps in Hogwarts ruins. 
um, through this tunnel. And so this area was sort of based off, so it's from over here, and this area was sort of based off some of the stuff that was in the sixth game, and some of the stuff that was in the very first uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone game on PS1, which, little known fact, is probably one of my favourite games ever. Um, and yeah, so it was based off that, and it's not on, well, yeah, it's not any of the recent games, but it's an area that I really sort of like sort of running around in. It was like a foresty area. There was lots of cool little bits and stuff to hide around in portraits and stuff, and it was kind of fun. And like, and then in the sixth book, there was like a ruins bit, but it wasn't really you couldn't really go into it, and it was uh, not in the same location. But I did decided I wanted to build it as well as the training pitch because there was a training pitch in the books, um, and there's also one in the first game as well, but it's not in any of the later ones. So this area is still a work in progress, um, massive work in progress. But um, you go in this little courtyard, you go straight ahead. I'm just gonna whip, go on, um, video settings, make sure my brightness is turned to bright because, yeah, this was <coughs> quite a dark area. Um, I mean, you get some torches as well. Yeah, I'm gonna stick some of these down. Um, So yeah, you had um, these sort of ruined sort of towers. Hope you can see. Uh, <coughs> hope you can see it's all right. Um, but you these ruined towers sort of overlooking the lake, um, which you can sort of go into. You get a cool view of Hogwarts and the lake, and uh, some of the stuff that we'll go into in a bit. <coughs> see, so there's two towers, one here and then one just further down. Fly all the way along. You have this cool balcony as well. Which could be a cool view of the castle and stuff. I think the render distance at max. Um, Redis is 16 chunks. Will this kill it? Let's have a look. So I'm put it all the way up to 32. Um, we're still at 32. Two fr 30 frames per second. We'll see if this works. Let's get in there. Still rocking 30 frames. Let's have a look how it's doing memory wise. I've allocated 4 gig of RAM, so it should be able to survive. Um, if you are playing hard graft, I recommend at least giving it 2 gig. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff which it uses a lot of, and it's like the fences and stuff still aren't that greatly optimized, so it can kill up a bit. But yeah, this is a bit where you get like a cool view of the lake and the castle. Um, if only you see a, a cool rendering of our, of the castle, which looked pretty cool, um, which I sent out. There was like a big 1080p rendering of the castle with like a actual skybox, um, which was one of pretty cool using chunky. It took like a day to render out because it's very big and very detailed, likewise. Um, I'm going to turn that rendering right down, otherwise it's going to uh, just take forever to load everything. Um, stick that with 16 chunks. Yeah, it seems Minecraft has come a long way, optimization-wise, since I used to play it. Um, this used to just like kill my computer, just playing Hotcraft and uh, building it. I used to, there was a point where I was playing it, I used to have to restart Minecraft every about 5 minutes because it just died off. Yeah, um, so next up we have uh, another tower. Um, that's an entrance to the flu network, and we'll get to in a bit. Oh, yeah, we have this other tower, another ruined tower. It's a slightly bigger hole in it. Um, and we'll get to whatever this is next. Um, we'll go through here. So, this was what was going to be the training pitch. So, this was in the first game. This is the area that you learned to fly in, um, which is really fun. Um, so it's just like a small training pitch, and then the enclosed area, um, some seating and stuff, and then these walls, um, which you could sort of walk around on. Uh, I don't think I can't remember if there's actually staircase up here, but you could walk around them. I may have put one in. I don't actually remember. Maybe not. Hmm. Anyway, next up, we have. 
Ah, this door. So this um, doesn't actually work, I don't think. It uses like a really out of date um, block update mechanism. Yeah, see this was updated and it was supposed to turn on some stuff and open up this door which had a chest in it. Um, and in this chest there was a Hogwarts crest, something which I'll get to in a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, so this is where when the Hogwarts crest was hidden. That is one of the major things that was supposed to be in, in version 3. I'll explain that in just a couple of minutes when we get to it. Firstly, we're going to have a look at one of the tri wizard areas. So this is um, the entrance to the maze. Yeah, the tri wizard maze was this was the entrance to the tri wizard maze. Um, it was one of the things I was working on at the time when the video stopped. Um, as you can see, I was just sort of planning out this massive maze area. Um, it was going to be—I was going to try and make it like massive. It was going to be all the way around all this area, and it would take you a good while to get to the end of it. Like the actual ending was here, but you were going to have to go through several stages. The way that I was sort of planning it out was that you have to go through stages. So, for example, this was like one stage, and you had to. I think if I can do it, so you can see these all these switches. So you had to get all these switches in this area. Um, there's two. I thought it was another one. But anyway, yeah, you have to get all the switches in the area, and that unlocks this path. Like if you turn it off, this area is locked off, and you can't proceed. So there's going to be like challenges to get through each section. Um, there's one going to be over there. There was another one over here. Um, I can't remember what this water was for. Um, but yeah, right, this was another challenge. For some reason, yeah, I can't remember what you had to do, but there was like, you couldn't just jump out. Um, I was playing something there. Um, we'll come back to it in a bit. Um, first, I want to explain the Hogwarts Crest thing. But this was, yeah, this is where the end is going to be. And I'll show you what happens if you walk on these platforms in a couple of minutes. Firstly, we are going to head back over, just quickly over to the castle. 